Good morning. It's uh, Saturday the 5th, I believe. Um, yeah, uh, it's right at the freezing point again, but uh, I think I'm getting used to it. Uh, today is the day I have set. Uh, my goal is to have them adjoined. Uh, it's still my goal, but I have a sneaking hunch I'm being probably a day optimistic on that. Uh, yeah, uh, got to strip off the rest of the insulation, yay! Uh, then uh, start uh, jacking. Um, as for my friend Brad's approach, that I should jack this up and put little tabs of aspenite between the support beam and the building to reduce the friction so it'll jack in easier. I think it's a wonderful idea. My only reservation is when I cut the eave out of the building to uh, allow it to slide in, I didn't give it enough surplus room to really allow for that. It, it I gave it three quarters of an inch, and we're talking seven sixteenths aspenite, so it would really tighten things up. Uh, don't know if I want to try that until I absolutely have to. Uh, yeah. Anyways, um, guess I should stop yammering and get to work, people. So, uh, wish me luck. Here I go. Okay, it's a little after 11, and I've got the insulation stripped off and the Tyvek, and yeah, let's just uh, talk a little bit about how the cabin itself is built. Uh, 1x12s going vertically, they are visible inside. Then I've got 3 8 poplar boards stapled on over that. Over that is uh, builder's paper. It's a... Uh, sort of tar paper without the tar, and then my vapor barrier. Then it was four inches of styrofoam, and then strapping, and then another layer of 12 inch boards. Yeah, I, uh, I think I'm ready to start building my jacking rig. Yay, I'm getting tired. So far I haven't even moved it a centimeter. Anyways, I'm gonna get at it and I'll bring you back later people. Bye now. Okay, it's lunchtime. This is my setup. I have moved it a little bit, but very little bit. Uh, the blackjack that uh, I said was no good, I filled it with oil. Now, I've probably voided my warranty because I used engine oil, but uh, I needed it and I wanted it today. So, uh, yeah. Uh, by working with two jacks, my theory is I can uh, creep it in straight uh, without it sliding one side or the other. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go have lunch and uh, get back to it in a little bit. Later, folks. Well, it's uh, about 2.30. I am now officially under the eaves and uh, starting under. It goes very slow. Um, I've got the strap around it again. I will be hooking here back to the tree and giving it a pull because I've uh, ended up creeping in a little bit and my roof isn't lining up just the way I want it to. So uh, crank that back. Uh, my setup is working, but I can't run both jacks in parallel. I crank up the little one here and pick the thing up just a little bit on the one corner and then jack with the big one and then switch over to the other side and do the same thing. Uh, to my friend Andrew that said, uh, well make sure you videotape the uh, moving it in, I don't think he realized it's going to take me hours and hours and hours. It moves in a millimeter at a time, but Hey, I'm getting there. Uh, yeah, so uh, my next move is to hook the winch on and pull this corner over. So I'm going to get back at it, folks. Uh, 
I don't think I'm going to make it there today, but should get it close. Later, people. Okay, it's that time. Sun is heading down. Uh, I'm getting there. I'm under the eaves. So far, everything's clearing. Uh, I got 17 and a quarter inches left. So hopefully I can get that done tomorrow. Wow, it has fought me every inch of the way, but uh, I'm getting there. A millimeter at a time. Yay! Anyways, it's the journey, not the destination. But I'm having a hard time enjoying this moment. I just want it done. Later, people.